Hey groups, so excited to see you guys again today. Um, I hope you've been enjoying this short and sweet uh, series as much as we have. This past week, we started talking about Second John, and we related it to the emperor's lack of clothes, actually. And John is writing to a group of people who are actually probably some new believers. And at the time, there were some people called uh, missionaries and Gnostics going around from town to town spreading things. Now, the missionaries were spreading the good news about Jesus Christ and the great things he had done, how he died on the cross for our sins, and they were bringing people to Christ in droves. right? But there were also people going in the same way called Gnostics, but they were teaching a very different message. They were teaching that Jesus Christ was not the Son of God, that he was not the Messiah that the Old Testament had had foretold and talked about. So John is writing to a group of people who need to hear some encouragement about what to do with false teachers and how to know who the false teachers are and are not. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed some of that stuff. Let's get right into questions. And kids, I'm going to start with you guys first. Hey kids, so like I just said, John is writing this book to a group of people who need some encouragement about what's going on in their life. So before we get started in the questions, I want to have you open your Bibles and read 2 John verses 4 through 6 as a group, and then come back to the questions. So first question I want you guys to ask each other is, how do you know what love is? Next question, have you ever doubted that the people around you are not loving each other like Jesus commands us to do? What do you do in those kinds of situations? And here's the last question. In what ways can you still love the people around you even if they seem to be spreading lies and things that are not true? What does that look like for you? Hey kids, thanks so much for engaging in these questions. I've ho- I hope you've had some great discussion with each other and we can't wait to see you again next week. Hey adults, it is time for your group's questions, so we're going to rock and roll here. First question, how do you see or distinguish false teachers in your life? Question number two, when have you had a false teacher in your life? And remember, a false teacher is really anyone who is teaching self-promotion as opposed to Christ promotion. Who is pointing you towards yourself and who's pointing you towards Jesus? Talk about that. Number three, I want you guys to read 2 John 4 through 6 first, and then we'll get back to the questions. So the next verses after what you just read kind of describe how many false teachers have gone into the world, right? We've seen those all over. And it's crazy to think that even in today's world, That's still happening all over the place. So here's the question I want to ask you. How do we recognize false teachers? How do you recognize them in your life?
Here's the last question. When you have a false teacher in your life, because we know it's going to happen, it's going to be in the future, they're going to be around us, what is the first step you can take to first off know if they're a false teacher, but then what happens after that? When you know they're a false teacher, what do you actually do? And is there someone who can hold you accountable to make sure you're actually taking those steps um, to, yeah, kind of deal with your false teachers? Adults, thank you for engaging with these questions. It's so exciting to see all of you just throughout the week engaging with different people in the community with some of these questions that we're dealing with. So thanks for being engaged with that. If you have time and want to dive into some other questions, there is a digging deeper section in the, on the back page of that. So feel free to turn to that as well. Hey groups, welcome to the group Vine. We have got a few exciting announcements coming up for you and an opportunity to step in and be kind of creative with what is going to be the future of groups. So Kristen, why don't you share a little bit about what's going on and some of your ideas. Awesome. Thanks, Matt. So we are going to run a contest. We're going to allow the group that wins free pizza at your next groups meeting. What is a contest you're probably wondering? Well, we're afraid that the word groups leaders or groups hosts are kind of scaring off some of our new people that we are trying to get to become our leaders. So here's where we need you guys as groups. We are asking you to come up with a new name for groups leaders. It can be anything that you think would express what a group leader is in a foundry kind of way. So here's what I need for you guys to do. Talk it over as a group come up with a name that you think we can replace groups leaders with, email me at kristen.berghorst at foundrychurch.net by December 1. We'll have a team of people here at the staff that will um, kind of look at all of our options that you guys send us and we'll decide the winner. And like I said, you guys will get free pizza at your next group's meeting. So excited to see what you guys come up with.